yeah. na topic ya kwanza kwa leo ni kuhusu patriotism eh? na kama tunajivunia kwa Kenya and that's the first question madam wewe unajivunia kwa Kenya nilikuwa nimeenda kazi tz hivi nimetembea tz na okay mkiwa Kenya na scan go free kati tumbai kifanyika Kenya watu wa Kenya na sababu very fast alafu na continue maisha yao so it was more thing like this nimeenda kwa Kenya kwa sababu nimezaliwa Kenya nimeuleka Kenya na kuna uhuru wa kumwambogo Mungu. You can go anywhere, you can do anything you want. Look at the the politicians. The way they talk all over in, uh, in their meetings, open their meetings. You can say anything you want. You can enjoy anybody you want. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? So, I think to some that, extent, the one for the politicians good. especially. I think it's good. Look at what is happening in Uganda just by walking. Then we chapo na video mikono. That freedom is very important. Okay. What we angapi apa wana draw all the three verses of the national anthem. Verse three. Verse three. Verse three. In English. Aye. Normal. Now we are going to do. Ah, 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 kama mimi tu juu na shona la nemi tu wangu kuzima sisi kwa kwamba moto kwa shonga pia pana juu rightsa ambazo zikuenshine ni the constitution and the clauses of the constitution one very interesting one for those of us who are working you have a right to go on strike yeah and a right that is when it is necessary the right to life yeah akuna mtu na faa kuni tu asiji wa pia kujeni drugs juni ni and also right to basic education and freedom of expression and freedom of uh, uh, worship over 40 years on after independence ukiangalia pali tumetoa kala pali tuko sasa na pali it looks like we are heading do you think we are on the right track we are on the right track because if you look very carefully we have uh, when come to hospitals schools uh, roads and the, 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 whatever you call, the percentage of development is very high, not like those old days. Makumbuka, tulukua tunanuwa mkate tumbo. Sae mkate ni 450. Are we really on the right track? Yeah. Mkate ni 450? Ile, ile mkate hivyo. Oh, wana kutubanga hivyo. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. On any developing country, prices have to change. Because, uh, if, 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 uh, if the price of uh, any commodity goes up, that money goes to development or a certain area. But if you just sit be, behind and say a bridge should cost two shillings, we are heading nowhere. If that's the case, then why are places like Northeastern not yeah. well developed? Northeastern is it's, it's, it's part and parcel of our, of our country. Yes. Yeah. So you, you, uh, the, the economy of that place is just the same as here. How? Really? How? Yeah. How do you mean because exactly? Because kila siku tunona watu wakona nja, wala kufuwa na nja. They don't have infrastructure. They don't want to work. I think, I think It's them. Yeah, they, they, they don't want to work. They don't want to work. They have a problem. They have a problem. I think I want to differ. Just slightly. Because as much as they want, they may not have the resources that are in central Kenya or Nairobi. We are not at par. Because the area could be very dry. And maybe the, the only thing they rely on is uh, their livestock and with the droughts and all these things. So I think that now this brings in the issue of uh, the political participation towards the economic balance in our country. There was a time, I remember, I, I, I worked there. You see? To now, to answer, what are you doing? I don't know if you're doing it, what are So if they are, if the, pro, the problem is with those people. The pastoralists, huh? they keep on moving, you see? Maybe we can we can resources. Like in it, we have more time than me. We forgot. They don't even know how to use them. So, come on, issue le. We need to go like this time. We go drive. We need to talk to the pastors. Mali, we need to know na. Your movement na nini na hinda development. Kuna mabadiliko. Kwa sababu it wasn't it wasn't free kuenda kama Uganda or Tanzania kufanya business. It is going to be Now we are free. We are able to go to Tanzania or Uganda. Okay. All right. Right about now, we want to watch a short clip eh, to explain to us more. Ah, eh? let's watch the clip, man. Stop. Okay.
Something which makes us unique so much as Kenyans, which makes me proud to be a Kenyan, one is resilience. We are people who, Kenyans are very resilient people. You remember like a few years ago we had problems, but we emerged from that very strong. Think even geographically, there are a lot of things which would make one to be proud of Kenya. And that one I thank God for. Why? We are a country with a very many national parks like Masai Mara, Savo, Amboseli, which are not in many other countries. We are a country which has the second highest mountain in Africa, Mount Kenya. We also share the uh, part of the, the biggest lake in Africa, Lake Victoria, and the second biggest freshwater lake, uh, water lake in the world. The longest river in the world starts from Lake Victoria. That is part of, Ken uh, part of Kenya. We have just to do our honest part, be very friendly and be transparent and honest in the things we do, in the service of God and to man. God determines where each and every one of us has to be born and at the time when we'll be born. The place which God determined for us to be born is here in Kenya. Kiangalia Kenya and all the tribes we have, can you honestly say we have, we have found unity in, in diversity? Tribalism, it's... it's okay, people are not Asia. No, no. But, yes, it's, it's so far. It's you know the problem? In which generation is that tribalism? At the moment, at the moment, tribalism. You can see that they are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. They are going to be able to do it. How can we be on the right track if we are not moving in the same direction? Yeah, it's unity in university. Because you can take a different field. You can say, like, athletics, let's say. Uh, Samuel Wanjiro, rest in peace. Eh? Uh, um, say, killer. Every tribe I recognize, but I can look on Kiku or whatever tribe you are, kill them to record them recognize as a Kenyan. Only it's the same thing. No, no, and on and on and on and on. We keep on going to tell you if you want to be Kenya, but we're still the same people. Yeah, we're still who the same up, people. Who took up machetes and hacked each other? Yeah, the conflict. Yes, in a coiners in a coiner ideas. I'm a bit come easy. Was it because you were here in 2007? Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, were ideas. Yeah, basically. Okay, but over 40 years later of independence, to remember to as Kenyans in terms of accountability from our leaders, mm. in terms of how we relate to each other as a people, mm. is there a maturity? Yeah, we are on the right track, yes. But what we need to look at is the, the pace at which we are going. Because right now if our politicians can, uh, can go to parliament and vote uh, according to their tribes, yeah, then it means we are making a step forward and half of it backward. Singapore will gain independence on the same time as Kenya in the 60s. But right now, they're classified as a first world country while well, we're still in, the, in a third that's, world category. That's the pace I'm talking about. Yeah. Right? Why is that the case then, if you're still on the right track? Because our politicians are wasting us. Yeah, that's Aren't we the same people who choose the politicians? Yeah. No, you know the problem is, huh? as much as Tutasema will choose someone who Munyata to say yes, no, no. Sasaka, me, me, home. Me, okay, Liza, I won't choose a poor guy. Because a poor guy will figure there at a how. So let me choose a rich guy. That's most perceptional. Let me choose someone who already has it. Yeah? At least Akikula Hula at a Kumkapa down. No, no. Then he goes there and Sahau is everything. Isn't it? It's, 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 it's culture. What do you feel was the most defining moment for Kenya since independence? Two or two, we were united, Villa Tujai were united. As in all of us, as in people in Uhuru Park, you're feeling, yeah, this is it, man. This is change now. <coughs> this is the change we wanted for a long time. Yeah, to, that to, to that part for inauguration for the president, that was it. 2008, when uh, Kofi Annan made it to bring together Mr. Kibaki and uh, Raira, because without that, then I don't know where we would have been today. Are we a passive people as Kenyans? Are we passive? Yeah, and uh, that's one of the properties that define Kenya, right from parliament, from presidency downwards. So if we are passive as a, a people in Apia, Badu, Tunajivunia, Kwa, Kenya, isn't that like a bit of eh, contradiction? Apple? I'm very proud to be Kenyan, yeah. But there are things I'm looking around and I have no way to change them. But, but I think one of the ways that Kenyans can come together and change this nation is stop electing politicians to parliament. And we start identifying leaders. Equal distribution of resources. So that everyone can feel Kenyan. You see, like those guys for Northeastern and Northern Kenya, 
they really left out. There's a way of finishing triples in, by by uh, uh, by building uh, tribalism academy, whereby different tribes go and sit down and come out with a good idea, whereby in future akuna tewe kwa kwa kupigana na hii academy serikali kitegeneza kuna kuwa na jaru moja, kikuyu, mkaba all even tribes wanaeta kwa hiyo wanakuwa kama shure we should uh, intermarry ukue band to marry from the same tribe which I see there is hope eh? unasikia mtu wanasama mkikuyu mimi ni wana mkikuyu mwe gai madhari hata nienda yugada mwe kwa that's very nice, it means there is hope it's yeah? intermarry for you yeah, we... ok Sasa, but we should all be proud because yeah. we have a very beautiful country with beautiful people. Yes. Eh? Yes. Yeah. 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 Kenya kuna amani. Na kama kuna amani, tunaweza kukabiliana na shida zozote za kila aina. Uh, what I like about this country is the people and yes I'm proud to be Kenyan. Mimi si furahi njui kuko na nini? Kuko na uchumi mwingi. Na uchumi umepanda. Usipojivunia kuwa mkenya, utakaa kama mtumwa kutoka nchi nyingine. Lakini ukiwa mkenya unajipendea kuwa mkenya, kazi utafanya kwa bidii utaendelea vizuri na wakenya wenzako mtapendana mtakaa pamoja mimi najivunia kuwa mkenya sababu kishapata kazi Kenya ufanye tu vizuri kwa mpangilio unaishi tu poa okay hayo ayalikuwa maoni watu kwa ticket cd cd senda cd senda <laughs> lakini sasa tunaweza kuenda kwa mapomze kama chai alafu tutakuwa take off kwa hii show <laughs>